Have you heard? Bravado has deals for days. You mean like a free smartphone? Well, yeah. With unlimited talk, text, and data for just $40 a month? You're darn tootin'. Then why the blazes are we talking on these? Make the switch to Bravado today and fall in love with a brand new free smartphone. See store for details. Find locations at bravadowireless.com slash bold move. Baby, you're the boldest. Bravado Wireless. Experience the power of connection.
Ingram and Reed. They are spectacular. Look for them to control the game. On the other side, the Jets, it all starts with number five. Fourteen. She is a ball handler. She gets to the hoop and she's fast when she does. Also, the board, kind of the leader of this team, Cone. She can do it in many facets of the way, and she's a good player. And also, number 33, Lauren Wade. She's that post player that does it inside. She gets it done, especially you dropping the ball and attacking the basket. Look for her to get uh, started early offensively. We are underway here in the championship game. Shelby Black. Tony Fortune, Tanera Combs, Madeline Hankins, Lauren Wade, the starters for the Lady Enid Jets. That was Randacia Hansen going to the basket. She starts in the backcourt with Alicia Stewart, Cass Reeves, Jillian Ingram, and Madison Roberson. Long three is put down by Shelby Black. We talked a lot about her yesterday. Yeah, we certainly did. Black is the point guard that gets things started and is... Probably one of the people I should have not mentioned in that, those three uh, <laughs> players. But she shows me why early, knocking down that three ball. A 3 nothing lead. Make it a 5 nothing lead. Wade to the rim. And honestly, the two players that you expect things to happen for start the game very quickly, Black and Wade. Those are my nominees right now for the MVPs of the tournament, especially the girls' division. So let's see what they can do in the championship game. Tony Stewart breaking the ankles off the mark. Stewart back the other way to the corner. Hanson, no. The 25th anniversary of Region 2 holding their championship tournament at Oklahoma Baptist. It's been going on since 1995. That was Shelby Black breaking the ankles of Elijah Stewart, making her look <laughs> making her look a little silly there, but I'm pretty sure when Stewart starts knocking down those three-point shots. Todd Smith, Mark Perry, Justin Brown, your officials. Ingram looking for an option, goes down low. Roberson, no. Rejected by Miss Lauren Wade. Starting fast on the offense and defensive side of things. Three-pointer up by Hanson, or Hankins, excuse me, it's good. This has kind of been the trend of the tournament. One of the teams jumping up to a 12 or 8 nothing lead before a team finally gets into it. Number 10, Hanson finally gets the Aggies on the board. Black from deep, no good. Combs coming in and getting the ball out of bounds off of Murray State. That was a good job by Combs. She tells Black to knock it down from the three-point as she has her back going in for the rebound strong. Black again for three, yes, she's two for three. She don't miss twice in a row. She brings so much energy and passion to the game. In an 11-2 start, and another turnover forced by Enid. Black bumped. Do they count it? I think they would have if it would have went in. But Black will go to the free throw line. Nope, they're going to put it on the floor. You see the three-point basket by Hinkins there. You see Stewart taking the contact and going, excuse me, Henson taking the contact and going up for the basket. Black again. And the smile on her face and the nod. 14 to 2. Enid. Hey man, it's the championship game. Big time players have to step up and make big time contributions. And Black is for sure a big time contributor 
to these Enon Jets team that she knocks down. Count them, one, two, three, three-point baskets in the first quarter. Shelby Black, the freshman from Red Rock, Oklahoma, Frontier High School, second all-team region this year. Averaging 16 a game coming in to this afternoon. 31% three-point shooter. Right now it's at 75, three out of four. Simple math I'm good with, that, that was easy. 100, 100 divided by 25, huh? Yeah, that's easy. Oh, excuse me, it's 100 divided by four. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not so easy. Not so easy. <laughs> Hanson, 2-3 zone for Enid. Hanson for three, yes, rattles at home. Henson trying to keep this Aggies in the game. One thing we've learned in this tournament, Stewart, their three-point specialist and the girl who really gets things going for them offensively, she might be a slow starter because it's been a couple of games in a row now that she hasn't gotten going. Combs wide open underneath. Tanera Combs, the sophomore from Fairview, Oklahoma. Do a lot of different things for you on the court. Turnaround shot is good by Ingram. Black maybe thought about it and turned it over. Stewart's going to run up the court, have an easy layup. That'll get the confidence going. It's always, sometimes all you need to do is see one go through the hoop. Both teams in 2-3 zones. The ball movement right now, Black again, rims out. Wade underneath, can't get a call. Turned over, Black. Oh, she's gonna get called for a kick. And there's some disagreement from head coach Scott Morris. It, it was a soccer move almost on her part as you look at Stewart's layup. Yeah, and I think her foot just accidentally got trapped underneath the ball. I don't think that was intentional. He's saying that it wasn't intentional, it was unintentional. Sixteen to nine, the lead, and a foul will go against Tanera Combs. That's her first. And you can't falter for that one right there. Just going for the steal, trying to make a good defensive play. Hanson, she hits. And she's catching fire herself. Her second three. She's got eight points. Single-handedly keeping the Aggies in this game. Eight out of the 12 for Murray State. Combs will fire away. And Murray State trying to go on a little run of their own. Stewart for three. No. Black had to save it from going out of bounds. Under four minutes in this first quarter. Combs, what a move in the paint. Fast pace so far, 18 to 12 in the first quarter. At one point, the Jets were up eight to zero. Aggie's doing a good job of climbing back in this. And a bad pass. And that's the second bad pass from Fortune in the last two possessions. Stewart hits a three, and Murray State's right back in it, now down three. Stewart with five. Relax, relax, relax. 
And Coach Scott Morris telling his team to relax. Got a long way to go in this ball game. Combs, no. But it will be Enid's basketball. Erasure Brown will check in for the first time and Combs, who just missed that shot, will sit down. Macy Smith coming in for Murray State, as well as Katarina Kaikinen. Macy Smith, they have to know once she gets on the floor, that's a shooter right there. Shooting 40% 40, 40 from the three-point line. Foul on the floor. And Andresa Nascimento making her first appearance. And will sub out Roberson. Black with a bad pass. She thought Hinkins was staying and she was coming. Taiken, a nice pass to Nascimento. Two players coming off the bench, contributing early. The lead is one now. Can Enid respond? And Wade will get to the free throw line. Wade, the freshman from Marlowe. 63% free throw shooter. That's her first. Goes two for two. Kaikinen to Hansen. Nine on the shot clock. Corner three is good. Ingram right in front of the Murray State crowd. Yeah, they were loving it. The belief is that that may be a softball team of Murray State over on the other side? I believe it is. Can't be too sure right now, but there are a couple of softball shirts in the crowd. Steve Lowe getting pumped up about that turnover for his defense in his first season as head coach. Makes the tournament championship game. How does that feel? It's gotta be a lot of promise for the future. Nascimento with a smile on her face knocks down the three. And they take the fir their first lead of the game. 23-20. Eraser Brown. Can't get it to go. And then a foul. Does it take a look at that three? And the next one by Number 14 for the Aggies, Nascimento. Under a minute to play, first quarter. Hansen, and a foul will go against Black, and she smiles about it. And I think that's two back-to-back -back fouls for Black. Did they call that on her? Or did they call it on Brown? Sounds like they gave it to Brown. Smith, wide open. Back rim. 13 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Black. Can't hit. 
Nascimento with the rebound. Twenty seconds remaining in the first quarter. If they don't turn it over, Murray State's going to have a lead heading into the second. Twelve on the game clock. Kaikinen being pressured by Fortune. Fortune doing a good job moving her feet. Four on the clock. Kaikinen to the corner. Hanson at the buzzer. And that'll end the first quarter. Murray State with a three-point lead over Enid as we're in Shawnee, Oklahoma for the NJCAA Region 2 Women's Championship game. At Bravado Wireless, we don't believe in wasting your time or ours. Our mission is to serve you with honesty and integrity. That's why we offer upfront competitive pricing with no hidden fees in our plans. For $40 a month, you get unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide coverage. No data caps and no restrictions. No matter if it's your first, second, or third line, you only pay $40 per month per line. All of that with coverage on America's best network. We're your local service provider. Come get to know us. Go bold, go bravado. There is truly no place like home. Right here in Eastern Oklahoma, Bravado Wireless provides the best unlimited talk, text, and data for only $40 a month. We believe in strong, connected communities. That's why we live stream community events like local football games. You may not know us by name, but we'll be at the same festivals and cheering for our kids on the same sidelines because we live where you live. Visit bravadowireless.com or visit one of our stores where we make it easy to join our family. Bravado Wireless, we believe in the power of connection. A three-point lead for Murray State over NOC Ian and Jacob Toby alongside Dion Amade. Glad you're with us on a Saturday afternoon matinee on Bravado Wireless. Winner of this guaranteeing a trip to Lubbock, Texas. And that foul, they're going to say it's off of Taylor Parker. She was the one shooting it. Looked to be blocked out of bounds and then they're going to give it to her. And that was a great move underneath the basket by Parker. I'm surprised she didn't get call, she didn't get the foul call. But are they now? There no foul on the floor. But it will be Enid basketball. Freeman, who just checked in moments ago. Can't hit. Kaikinen seeing a lane. She just couldn't finish it. They got to stop the, the ball handler coming up the court. Nobody claims her. Black, who had nine points, was the high scorer in the first quarter on three of six from downtown. Enid almost turning it over, and it's going to be a jump ball. And that was a, a very... Lazy in entry pass to Brown, and because of that, one of the Aggies are able to tip it away. They have the possession arrow, and it's a tie ball. Kaiken in, handing it off to Hanson, who gets Macy Smith. Kaiken in, wild shot, but Nascimento will get called for an over the back foul. That was a good call by the ref. Lauren Wade and looks to be a couple other subs as well, or just two subs. It's Wade and it's Combs. No one has scored yet in the second quarter. Almost a, looked like a jump there from Freeman. Almost did it again. Black with five on the shot clock. Has to make something happen, and she will get to the free throw line. Not afraid to go inside at 5-5. Five, five. Second time I've seen Black with the shot clock going down, going to the lane and kind of hit that attempt of a granny layup shot. <laughs> yeah, she did that yesterday. Alasia Stewart has checked back in for the Aggies. Yeah. 
two for two from the free throw line for Black. Open three, Macy Smith. And I said it beforehand, you gotta be aware where number three is on the court. Smith can knock it down from anywhere. 41% from downtown. Combs. Freeman can't answer the three. Stewart thought about it. Certainly did. Good job by Freeman stepping up. Can't go underneath the screen, though. And that shot doesn't touch the rim. Take a look at Smith. It's actually 40.9%, but we can round it up. You round it up when it's over 0.5. I don't know if you knew that or not. But no, 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 excuse me, sir. Don't give me a math class right now. I'm, I'm calling a championship game, okay? Do you mind? <laughs> Wait, so then why were you Do giving you me a math Do class? Do you mind? Do you mind? Why were you giving me a math class? Combs passes it to Freeman. Freeman back to, to Combs. <laughs> now I don't have a job. Huh. Should I leave? Go ahead. Do what you're going to do. Getting called out for math, and you just did it. Black with the steal. Ooh. Pull up three. No. Hustle from Combs, but out of bounds off of the Jets. That's that coach, Scott Morris, in his 19th season. His Jets averaging 24 wins a season since he has taken over. It's a 74% winning percentage. As head coach. Three ball in the corner. Goodbye, Ingram. And that's the third three-point shot in the corner for the Aggies. Defensively, these Jets have to figure it out, and they have to get to the outside and to contest these jumpers. Ingram knocking down a big-time three to extend their lead to seven. Ingram shoots a three ball at 43%, and it makes it a seven-point game, 29-22, with 6.36 left to go in the first half. Right now, unlimited connectivity, only $59.99 a month. All the Netflix, Hulu, D+, Prime Shopping, Internet Shopping, Video Gaming, and Bravado Streaming you could ask for. For a limited time, you can get a free, that's right, a free smartphone when you start up at Bravado Wireless. Murray State, 20-12 and 12 on the season. They were 9-7 and seven in Region 2 play this year. Under first year head coach Steve Lowe. And of course, Murray State Athletics Department having fun right now as the men's team is in the championship game as well, coming up at four against NEO. How good must that feel for Murray State? I mean, the athletic department has to be ecstatic. 14 in, and Black will sit for the first time today. Nascimento. Thirteen on the shot clock. Smith fakes the three. Stewart with three on the shot clock. Through the legs. Oh, couldn't finish. What a play that would have been. That could have been <laughs> something for the highlight books. Fortune. Freeman. No. And she's 0 for 3 behind the three-point line. If you're open, you, you got to shoot it. 
But right now, those attempts are being costly. Nascimento. Hollywood into the Jets. Had traveled on it. Taylor Parker has checked in. Excuse me, Hollywood has checked in. She's wearing a different jersey. Listed as 24. Now she's 20. Hollywood. And there she is, getting the shot. Just misses. And a foul on Fortune. Too much pressure in the backcourt. Hanson will check back in, and Smith is out. Ingram checked back in as well. Hanson, hung in the air. Got it, and a foul. She cannot be denied tonight. This first half has been all Henson. That's going to be two fouls on Combs. She's going to have to check out. Eurasia Brown will check in. Randesha Hansen with 10 points. The number on her jersey. The sophomore from Tyler, Texas. Can't hit the free throw. Enid down nine. Fortune makes it six. That's her first basket of the game. Ingram to Kaikinen. Hanson around the back, pretty move. How about the dish? How about the execution? And the fourth corner three, and that's going to be three for Ingram herself. They cannot fall asleep on the corner threes. That's something that's going to have to be addressed at halftime. Three threes for Ingram. She's got 11 points. Nine point lead, cut back down. It's down to seven now. Wade puts in the dose. Steal by Fortune. Down to five. And she told her teammates down there, you see the ball, go get it. That's exactly what she does right there. Again, a turnover. This time it's Freeman with the steal. Piking and chasing, and they're going to get her with a foul. Although Freeman does a good job with the steal right here, she has an opportunity. Come from the other side, reverse layup, protect yourself and the ball, and maybe get the foul as well. So Hayden Freeman at the line knocks down the first, the sophomore from El Reno. Co head coach Steve Lowe has to be clearly upset with these last two possessions offensively for Murray State. Freeman goes one for two, ball loose. She picks it up, then it's stolen back from her by Reeves. And then a jump ball awarded to Enid. And here comes Shelby Black. Referees discussing something, but nothing. That's too concerning, apparently. Yeah. 
Black open for three. Can't do that. She hits her fourth. Fourteen points here in the first half for Shelby Black. And she just re-entered the game. Stewart, Nascimento, nine on the shot clock. Stewart answers Too much three. room, too much room. You cannot give her that much space. Her second triple of the evening. Afternoon, whatever time we're in. Been here for four days, we lose track of time. Murray State trying to add on to their four-point lead. Hansen does just that. Another bomb for the Aggies. And now they, up seven. And they are killing them with these three-point shots. Take a look at it right here. Hansen doesn't even hesitate. Knocks it down. The three ball working for the Aggies. Up by seven. Every time these Jets cut into the lead, another three goes in and extends it once again. Well, we know Murray State and the brand of basketball that they play is all about shooting the three. They are Averaging 10 and a half made threes a game. That's sixth in attempts, sixth in percentage in the country. They are deadly from downtown. And that 10.5 three pointers made per game is first in the country. I see why we're getting the uh, game that we are from the Murray State Aggies. Eurasia Brown at the free throw line. Can't hit the first. She's a 50% free throw shooter. Forty thirty four, one twenty eight to go. Stewart swishing another three. Like you gotta identify the three point shooters. Like it's serious, number zero. She shoots threes. Are you surprised at all that Enid is still in a two three zone? Because you would think maybe they would switch to a man. I'm very surprised. And, I, you know, at, we've watched them these past cup four days, and that's kind of their defense. That's what they, they're used to. That's what they go to. That's what they feel comfortable in. But in some situations, you can't let this lead get the way that it is. You can't. Hanson misses on the fast break. Fortune comes back and steals it. Under a minute to play. Nine-point Murray State lead. Hankins lost the dribble for a second. Black stepping in. Wade underneath. Big bucket. Got to stop the bleeding. And exactly as you say, Jacob, they switch to the man. And that's going to be two on Fortune. Freeman, I think, is going to check in for Fortune. Yep. Freeman in for the Jets. 
Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Got to inbound it all the way to the backcourt for Ingram. And then a pressure here by Freeman. Got to get up over midcourt. Open, wide open. Underneath was... And Freeman thought they were switching on the screen. She stays on the player. And Reeves is down low, open, but she can't hit the three-pointer. One second to go, and that will do it. The first half from Shawnee, Oklahoma, 43-36. Murray State with an onslaught of three-pointers. Seven-point lead, and it's simply the corner three. This Enon Jets team has to go in at halftime and figure out how to stop the corner three. It's plain and simple. If they do that, they got a chance. All right, we'll take a break here on Bravado Wireless. Back with the second half action in a moment, right after this. Hey there, have you heard? Bravado has deals for days. You mean like a free smartphone? Well, yeah. With unlimited talk, text, and data for just $40 a month? You're darn tootin'. Then why the blazes are we talking on these? Make the switch to Bravado today and fall in love with a brand new free smartphone. See store for details. Find locations at bravadowireless.com slash bold move. Baby, you're the boldest. Bravado Wireless. Experience the power of connection. At Bravado Wireless, we don't believe in wasting your time or ours. Our mission is to serve you with honesty and integrity. That's why we offer upfront competitive pricing with no hidden fees in our plans. For $40 a month, you get unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide coverage. No data caps and no restrictions. No matter if it's your first, second, or third line, you only pay $40 per month per line. All of that with coverage on America's best network. We're your local service provider. Come get to know us. Go bold. Go bravado. Stick around because we're cooking wild. Wireless companies keep getting bigger and bigger, but their coverage where you live is still small. At Bravado Wireless, we provide the best unlimited talk, text, and data for only $40 a month, right here in Eastern Oklahoma. You deserve to connect fast to your family, friends, and colleagues, wherever they are, with no interruptions and no excuses. Don't buy into big, go bold, go Bravado. Visit bravadowireless.com or visit one of our stores where we make it easy to join our family. Bravado Wireless, we believe in the power of connection. You are called to be bold. You have a right to the best wireless service, high-speed internet, and customer service at a price you can feel good about. At Bravado Wireless, we know this, and that's why we put you and your community first. We are owned and operated right here in eastern Oklahoma. We live where you live. We proudly connect you to your family, friends, and business partners wherever they are. Dallas, Seattle, Taipei, Toronto, and anywhere else in the world. We are Bravado Wireless. We believe in the power of connection.
were there when your grandparents made their first telephone call. We were there when your parents were able to choose what to watch on cable. And now, we are here for you, providing high-speed internet service to your family. There is one thing we know for sure. No matter what happens next, Cross is here to keep you connected. Cross, serving families like yours, today and tomorrow.
Toby alongside Dion Amade, 43-36 in favor of Murray State. And you look at Murray State's roster, Randasia Hansen right now has been balling in the first half. She certainly has 13 points, three from six from behind the arc, <laughs> five for nine from the field. She is doing everything. So when, in, when the Jets had the lead, she was the one that was keeping them in the game when they went up eight to zero. And then when things started going, she started pouring it on even more. As you can see her with the ball here, making a perfect pass, but doesn't get the assist. Hopefully that can continue if you're an Aggies fan. Aggies fans, you have to hold on for another half as Black hits another three. And she starts off the second half like she began the first, knocking down three balls. Five. She was four for ten from the field in the first half. She's got five threes. Stewart to answer. No. Stewart and Black are not afraid to fire from anywhere on the court at any time. Combs. Yes. And honestly, I think for, for Ina to get this win, I think Black is going to have to have 20 three-point attempts when it's all, <laughs> all said and done. Because trust me, Henson is going to battle back too. Stewart's going to knock some down as well. She's going to need to stay in the game with both of those players. She's going to have to compete with both of those. And if Macy Smith comes in the game for the Aggies, watch out. So she's going to have to put down the three-point baskets continuously. Two-point game. Went to go inside to Wade. 13 on the shot clock. Hankins in trouble. Hop, step, and a dribble. They're going to call it a travel. And 
And Hink Stewart will get to the line. Yeah, Hinkins had no choice but to foul him. It's going to be a wide open layup there. Alasia Stewart in the first half, 11 points. A 75% free throw shooter, can't hit the first. Three-point game. Corner three by Kess Reeves. Reeves' first bucket of the afternoon, 47-41. Fortune. Combs, short on the three. Murray stayed on the run, and they'll slow it down. And Shelby Black, excuse me, Shelby Black does a good job poking it away from behind. Had Lauren Wade in an unprobable situation there. Could have possibly been another foul for her. Or her first foul. Stewart, quick release, quick swish. And you can hear the bench and head coach yelling corner, corner, corner. They're worried about that corner three. That is something that they definitely talked about at halftime. Well, we talked about it after the second quarter ended. 50 to 41, and a turnover. Fortune steps out of bounds. There's the crowd on hand. Presumably the softball team and now a timeout taken by Scott Morris. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. 50 to 41 in favor of Murray State. Man, I'm telling you, every time the Jets cut into this lead, Murray State finds a way to get in here and extend this lead once again, already back at one point in, in this third quarter, it was already down to two points, and now it's the up back to nine. What do you think Scott Morris is saying to his girls right now? Well, something that he was reciting over there on the sideline, corner threes and protecting the ball. That turnover right there was very costly for them. They need every possession that they can. Nine point lead for Murray State. Open three, Reeves. And the first double digit lead of the afternoon. It's up to 12. Murray State shot 61% from three in the first half and they have not stopped since. Black, no good, too strong. They fit three threes, the Aggies have here in the third quarter. Backdoor cut, Reeves, corner three, Hanson. Hits the side of the rim. Or excuse me, not the rim, backboard. This place would have went bonkers if that would have went down. Fortune. No. And it may be tough to try and outshoot Murray State. They want to stick to their game, the Inner Jets do, and go down low. And here's the thing. We're playing at the Aggies' tempo right now. 
you got to set the pace for your offense and for this game somehow, some way. Hayden Freeman, Abby Fibbs come into the ball game. Fibbs making her first appearance, the freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Fortune oh, had a wide open three, but finds Brown inside, and that's what they need to do, Moro. Great vision by Fortune, and good job by Brown getting her attention. Back door, Hanson, corner, Ingram, another three. They do a good job getting in the lane and kicking it back out. It's been their game plan all day, and that's four for Ingram. Four threes for Ingram. This is bonkers. But Brown doing what she does best, getting to the rim. The 5'9 sophomore from Edmond. The ball will be on the floor. Fortune, Fibs, seven on the shot clock. Bad pass by Fortune, and then a foul. That's unfortunate. Brown was calling for the ball, but she kind of telegraphed it, calling for it that aggressively. Good job by number 30, Robertson, to get in and jump the pass. Nascimento, guarded by Wade. Bounce pass to Hanson, rejected by Wade. That was a good job, way to recover defensively by Wade. Fibbs, and stolen by Stewart. Murray State. Resetting on the offensive side. Katarina Kaikinen, bad pass. Good and job by Freeman, stealing it and saving it from out of bounds. Head coach Steve Lowe not happy with that. Stewart pokes it from behind. It'll be the Jets ball. Well, he's actually thinking it was a foul. Fortune, big shot. They desperately needed that one. Makes it a 10 point ball game. Can they get a stop? Corner three is answered. Jillian Ingram. That's five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five three-point baskets for Ingram in this game. Back to a 13-point lead. Freeman stepping in, and it's down to 10 again. And before that shot, Freeman was 0 for 3 behind the three-point three line. She finally gets one to go, and that was a big-time shot by her. Shelby Black will re-enter the basketball game along with Kess Reeves. Stewart out for Murray State and Wade out for Enid. To the corner. Oh! Jillian Ingram just throwing it up there. And they chased her away from the three-point line, but she still has an opportunity for a three-point play as she attacks the basket. Take a look at it. Ingram has 19 points. The freshman from Edmond, Oklahoma, Edmond Memorial High School. Averages just eight. 
She has more than doubled that this afternoon. The Aggies still in their 2-3 zone. Black trying to penetrate and is on the ground once more. Shelby Black. She has 15. I just, I, she has 18. I just don't know how the Union Jets are going to stay in this game if Murray State continues to shoot the way they are. I just don't know. Foul on Freeman. And Steve Lowe likes to see that. Bench was pumped up. The referee's tying his shoe. That's what's holding us up. Everybody got shoelaces. Two minutes remaining, third quarter. Kaikinen, Reeves. Tipped and stolen by Fortune. Black from way downtown, no. Offensive rebound, Fibs kept it alive. Freeman, no. Her pump fake is so close to being a, uh, up and down. It's like she barely, barely, barely not. It was twice yesterday that I looked as like, is that a short one? <laughs> Keeps those toes on the ground, though. Roberson will check in for Nasi Mento. Roberson's kind of been quiet today. They say Murray State, but Scott Morris is upset right now at the call, and they'll change it back. He was about to go irate if he didn't get that call. <laughs> His team down 11. He knows how important every possession is. Fortune, no. And a foul, I believe it will be, against Black, her third. And free throw attempts coming. Are they already in the double bonus? First free throw good. Lead back up to 13. Fortune, eight on the shot clock. Had a little seam, but left it short. Brown, though, she's done that a couple times. And Fortune being a pest on defense there, knocking it off of, or out of Hanson's hands. If we look at the if we look at the replay, I'm not too sure Henson wasn't the last one to touch that. Wade will come back in for the Jets. Yeah. 
Kaikinen went to go inside, turned over. Fortune on the fast break smartly decides to pull it out. Wade for two. But head coach Scott Morris was calling for them to hold it for one shot. Wade was down there alone. I don't know if he could pass up that basket. Five on the game clock. Hanson down low. No. Way with the rebound. Two seconds. Black's going to fling one up. And aboard our cameras. And all that will do will decrease her three-point field goal percentage. Lead cut down to nine. 64-55. One more quarter of play. Had a chance to win a championship. Back in a moment. Big wireless companies keep getting bigger and bigger, but their coverage where you live is still small. At Bravado Wireless, we provide the best unlimited talk, text, and data for only $40 a month. Right here in eastern Oklahoma, you deserve to connect fast to your family, friends, and colleagues, wherever they are, with no interruptions and no excuses. Don't buy into big. Go bold. Go Bravado. Visit bravadowireless.com or visit one of our stores where we make it easy to join our family. Bravado Wireless. We believe in the power of connection. Lead cut down to nine. Murray State hanging on at the moment. The three-pointers keep falling, though. Jacob Toby alongside Dion Amade. Murray State with the basketball and the lead. Kaikinen, Reeves faking the corner three, driving. Can't get it to fall. Black, big shot, no. Wade, a beast underneath. That was an excellent job by Wade. Under there, two Aggies on her back. She tips it to herself and gets it to go. Look at that, arches her back, gets underneath and finishes strong. Chance to make this a six point ball game. Lauren Wade, the freshman from Marlowe, Oklahoma, missing the free throw. They need every basket they can get. Ingram, Stewart for three. Just too much room. Too much room. You can't go underneath the screen on that. Lead back up to 10. Five threes for Stewart. Freeman can't answer. And it looked to be off of Murray State, and it is. That's a good effort by Fortune poking that ball away. Freeman looking for an inbounder. Fortune, no. Black has to be careful. She has three fouls. Came flying in. Be careful of the over the back as Stewart is whacked. And Wade mismatching the lane. Just a lot quicker with the ball in her hand. Puts her on her back and 
Wade has no choice but to foul her. First free throw, no good. A 75% free throw shooter. She has 19 points. Lead back to nine. Wade. Ingram will bring it up the floor. Eight minutes left to go. Winner of this game gets to go to Lubbock. Steal by Freeman. That was a great job by Fortune. Long three by Black. And that might be a bit too deep for this point in time. And Black will have to come out. Hanson. Three off the mark, but an offensive rebound. Stewart. Great ball movement by the Aggies. Reeves for three. How do you stop them? That defense is just struggling to rotate. Aggies taking advantage of it. 71-57. Steve Lowe clanking his feet, asking for his Aggies to get a stop. They do. Get up, get up, get up. Where's the count? No, no. Should have been a count on. Fifteen on the shot clock. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Steal by Fortune. Fortune misses the layup, though. Ball loose. And they're going to call it Murray State basketball. Scott Morris really upset. And a timeout to settle things down for Steve Lowe's Murray State Aggie squad. And Scott Morris going out to have a conversation with the official. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the, <laughs> to the confrontation between the ref and the head coach, so y'all bear with me here. It has been a frustrating afternoon for Scott Morris, the three ball has not fallen the same way it has for Murray State. He's continuing to have a discussion. 71-57. And he is really letting his girls hear it in the huddle. I think he used almost all that 30-second timeout to talk to the official. I think that was more of a motivational talk than a chewing the girls out for anything bad that they did. I mean, at this point, it's the fourth quarter and six minutes left in there. They're down by more than a few buckets. And so this is the time to really motivate your girls. Foul on Freeman. Question is, when will Scott Morris bring back Shelby Black? 
At what point do you say just fire away? And she had an air ball on her last three-point attempt that was about 35 feet from the hoop. It was telling her to stay on balance when she's shooting. And a travel and a much needed turnover for the Jets. And that's a great defensive possession for them, especially out of the timeout. Seemed like the talk with the head coach really worked. Um, so let's see if they can get some points off the, the stop on defense. Offensive rebound by the Jets. Fortune wanted the ball a little sooner. She had an open three. Freeman, tough floater, no. Polly Wood got the offensive rebound and she was fouled and here comes Black. That's good minutes over there by Holly Wood. Although she doesn't get a chance to knock down the three, good offensive rebounds. Steve Lowe saying finish it. That's what he was yelling at his girls. Rebound to Hanson. Stewart for three. And they just got over there too late. A timeout. Enid. 74-57. Back in a moment on Bravado Wireless. You are called to be bold. You have a right to the best wireless service, high-speed internet, and customer service at a price you can feel good about. At Bravado Wireless, we know this, and that's why we put you and your community first. We are owned and operated right here in eastern Oklahoma. We live where you live. We proudly connect you to your family, friends, and business partners wherever they are. Dallas, Seattle, Taipei, Toronto, and anywhere else in the world. We are Bravado Wireless. We believe in the power of connection. Stick around, because we're cooking wild. The sweet voice of Justin Bieber on this Saturday afternoon, getting the crowd into it. 74-57, 5.20 remaining. Murray State, minutes away from winning a championship. And they grab the rebound. Surprised there wasn't a foul right there. Combs going up through the defender's arms, doesn't get the layup. Reeves down low, wide open, Roberson. And that offense is just functioning at a, at a high velocity right now. A 19-point game. Black for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Ball loose. Kept in. And it's turned over in a layup for Hanson. Took out the whole table over it here. It took me a second to gather myself as we got knocked over. Put that on the blooper reel. 78-57. Black finally gets one to go through here in the second half. She had four threes in the first half, only had one until that point in time right there. Hanson to answer. No. Eighteen point lead. A historic comeback will be needed by Enid. Five straight points. The Aggies can take their time. Turned over. Fortune. Looking for Black. She'll fire again. No. 
Combs the offensive rebound. And at this point, Black just has to continue to shoot, keep shooting that ball. Why not? She has to. Her, her field goal percentage is definitely going to suffer because of it, but to get back in this game, she's going to need to. Three twenty-four remaining in the ball game. Madeline Hankins will get to the free throw line. Oh, that's going to be five on Roberson. Roberson just two points today. That last bucket you just saw. Nascimento checks in. Hankins, the Blackwell, Oklahoma native at the free throw line, a 76% free throw shooter. This is the second, one for two. Ingram gonna be trapped. Three Jets here in the backcourt. Taikinen gets it over. Reeves will pull it out smartly. Time to breathe, three minutes remaining. Ten on the shot clock. Ingram for three. And you saw Stewart, what she did on the revert, excuse me, the screen, sets it, protects her, gives her an open shot, Ingram knocks it down. Black. Yes, she is deadly from downtown. And she can't do anything but continue to try to shoot those and help her team claw back in the game. With two minutes and 30 seconds left. All right, what can Scott Morris draw up here in the final 232? It's a uh, hefty task. Honestly, it's, in my opinion, you look for number one and you hope she's knocking down threes. Full court pressure here from the Jets. Fortune comes up with a steal, ball on the floor. And was it a jump ball? No info given. Combs, maybe thought she was fouled. But that'll go against Enid. Or will it not? Five, Fortune on the push. Yes, it will. Take a look. Coming in from behind. Full court press. Stewart double team. Almost stolen by Fortune. Ah, she just takes the wrong angle. 
as judged by NLC. Head coach Steve Lowe over there wearing out those Gators. Stomping the ground ferociously. Kaikinen bumped. Fifth team foul, double bonus time. Kaikinen, 30, or rather 68% from the line. Under two minutes to go. Hankins will get to the free throw line. First one up and no good. And the Murray State crowd loves it. Two sixty-seven, one forty-five to go. Still some full court pressure. Up to Stewart. Has a layup. And I'm surprised they didn't pull that ball back and try and waste some of the time. Stolen by Murray State. Tony Stewart will not come out. It will actually be Hankins. This is Abby Fibbs at the free throw line. A freshman from Tulsa. It's both. Razor Brown comes back in. Enid beat Seminole 74 to 70 in the first round. And then beat NEO in a convincing 75-53 win. But they find themselves down 84-69 here in the championship game. Murray State beat Western Oklahoma State 86-79. And then went on to upset Redlands 67-60. The best three-point shooting team in the country, Murray State, continues to put on the points. Have to put some more time on the clock. Seven second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Fortune, no. And that's how the afternoon is gone for the Enid Jets. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Murray State, all they have to do is let it run. And Steve Lowe hugging every single one of his girls on the sidelines. 
as the clock ticks down. The Aggies are headed to Lubbock, Texas. When the best three-point shooting team in the country is hot, what more can you do? Hey, man, there's nothing you can do. Just, just hide the women and children <laughs> and watch out because these Murray State Aggies put these Enon Jets to the test, and they soared with flying oh, colors. Look at this. They're trying to hoist up their head coach. Watch out. <laughs> He's holding on for dear life. Steve Lowe in his first season as the head coach of this Murray State Aggie squad. And he's going to Lubbock. Hey man, it's gonna be hard to top, top what you did the first year on the second. We'll have to get a chance to talk to him in a moment. And they're gonna be presented with t-shirts and the trophy. At center court. And honestly, it, it was a slow start, Jacob. It was a definitely a slow start for these Murray State Aggies. But number 10. Radesha Henson was the one that kept them in the game, kept them close with her eight of 12 points at one point in the first quarter. And then when the team started catching fire and everybody started knocking down from the outside, it was a wrap and there was nothing the Jets could do. And they're gonna slap that name because they're going to love it. Enid, a season ago, was a champion. They know how this feels. And it's hard to go back to back. It's very hard to go back to back. And you know the trials, the tribulations to stay motivated. And right now, it just seemed like Murray State just wanted it a little bit more. Final totals, the game's highest score, Shelby Black, 25 points, hit seven threes. Alasia Stewart for Murray State, 24 points. Went eight of 14 from the field. Jillian Ingram, 23, six of six from downtown. Hmm. They shot 63%. From three point land, and we're gonna watch the net come down for head coach Steve Lowe's squad. And all Enid can do is look on. You mentioned so hard to go back to back. It, it's, and here's the thing, and a lot of NBA players and champions talk about this all the time. You celebrate and you, you work so hard that first year to get that accomplishment. It's like to come back the next year and be motivated enough to, to, to fight off all the competitors who are trying to take you down. It, it's rough. It's hard. It's, it's, it's tasking. But if you can do it, it shows so much courage and motivation and just willpower. This year, the Enid Jets couldn't get it done. And when you face a team 
like Murray State that can shoot the way they do. I, I, I see it. I see it being a difficult situation, and you can see <laughs> the uphill battle that the NLC Enid Jets had to climb today. From Murray, Alaya Stewart. The all tournament team being announced. Jillian Ingram, the MVP. Again, Ingram, 23 points, six rebounds, three assists, a plus 17 with six for six from downtown. Murray State also had 20 points off of 13 Enid turnovers. As we continue to watch the celebration, the net will come down. Yeah, but <laughs> don't forget, we still got a boys game after this, so they're going to have to quickly Put those nets back up. And the net. Everyone will get a chance to cut it down. That was Kaylee Van Lue, the assistant coach, who's starting the chain. There you see the tournament MVP, number 24, Jillian Ingram, cutting down her little piece and keepsake. And Ingram only came in averaging eight points. Did shoot 43% from the three-point line this year. So no surprise, she went six for six. But she really did show a lot of what else she could do besides hit the three. Yeah, I mean, she's been one of the main ball handlers for this Murray State team. And She's done a lot of facilitating, and she's knocked down mid-range jumpers when, when her team needed her to. But today, <laughs> she was unstoppable. Again, coming up next in our second game, number 24, Murray State, and number 23, NEO, in the men's championship. What a game that will be start roughly 20 minutes after we wrap up here on the women's side. We're still going to talk with head coach Steve Lowe, and I believe we're going to talk with Jillian Ingram. But now I'm being told it might be Randasia Henson. Takes a couple minutes to cut down this net. You ever cut down a net? Never. Being been on top of a, a ladder with scissors is <laughs> a dangerous thing. I think you really have to earn that. Obviously, the men's game will start a little late. Celebrating the championship, it takes a little longer. Hey, man, it worked so hard. Might as well take some time. Biggest lead for Murray State was 21. Check from the NJCAA Region 2 Tournament Committee. They check 
check for three thousand dollars to help offset the cost of your national tournament trip. Nothing like a little check to help out with travel expenses. Hey, man. All <laughs> money's good money. <laughs> Steve Lowe graciously accepting the check. The net still being cut down. I never thought I'd be doing play-by-play -play of a net being torn up with scissors. And the last string, or last couple here for head coach Steve Lowe. Be careful, coach. There it is. One more, and the net's down. And he hangs and waves. I bet you he waited all season to do that. One of those things you tell the administration and the athletic department, hey, during that interview, <laughs> I want to go cut down a net for you. He certainly accomplished it pretty fast, I might say, in his first year. Again, they'll have to restring a second net. The men's game coming up next again at 4 o'clock, or 20 minutes from now. So. Roughly a start time of 4.10. Looking like Steve Lowe will be over with us in a moment. And we are joined by champion head coach Steve Lowe. Coach, the emotions you're feeling right now, cutting down that net, waving it around. What are you feeling? Man, first of all, you saying champion feels pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, our girls, I mean, we shot lights out today. I've never seen that before. I'll I be mean, honest. I was just talking with our AD, Coach Kellum, about we made 23s, right? Uh -huh. And that might be a school record in the championship game. What a like, time to do it. What a time <laughs> to do it. Like, there's nothing I did. That was, that was all the girls. I mean, really, I just told them, have fun today. Let loose. You know, it's, it ain't about anybody but you guys. So, man. I don't know, I have a lot of emotions, I guess. <laughs> I could cry probably from just happiness, and I'm just overjoyed for the girls and, and everybody. Well, let's we'll talk a little X's and O's, Coach. Going into this game, I mean, I know you didn't predict that your team would go out there and knock down threes at the rate that they sure. did. But what was the game plan coming in facing this NOC Enos Jets team? Well, you know, for us, I think um, we split this year. You know, and at their place, we went up there and won, and they came back, and they won at our place. And so Scott does a, a heck of a job. He's a great tactician. Um, he's been here a multitude of times. And really for us, it was about, you know, how can we how can we match and move in our zone to really try to contest the shooters they have and try to keep them out of the lane. That was really our biggest, you know, thing. And then offensively, you know, they played a zone in the second half at our place, and we really struggled. And uh, we kind of struggled early, as you saw. You know, we got down 14 to 2 to start. And then we went on a 21 to 6 run the rest of the quarter. And we just kind of made some adjustments because we, you know, we were just passing the ball around the perimeter too much. Uh -huh. I said, we got to get the ball in the high post, short corner, and attack gaps. And, you know, we went to our two deep set. And uh, that really helped because it created space for us, really. So that was probably our biggest adjustment from the offensive st standpoint. Your first season, did you ever experience or think about this happening so quickly for you at this level? You know, truthfully, a lot of the credit goes to Coach Kellum, you know, our AD and the previous coach. I mean, this is this is 80% his team, you know. So all I did is take a, a great group of kids uh, who, who trusted me, who bought into – you know, our system and believed in it. And, you know, so a lot of credit goes to him because he recruited those kids. I just kind of took over a great group of kids, put our system in, and the rest is really on the kids for just believing and trusting in us. All right, Coach, congratulations. You're going to Lubbock. How's that sound? Thank you. Hey, anywhere is good. I'm okay <laughs> with that. <laughs> All right, thank you to Head Coach Steve Lowe. He's a champion. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Make sure you thank wear you. that thing around your neck now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks,
Yes, sir. No problem. I believe uh, we'll be joined by uh, Randesha Henson next. She wants to come over here, take a seat, as they're sharing a hug behind us. Here we go. Grab the mic. All right, joined by Randesha Henson. How's it feel? You just won a championship. It feels really good, like really, really good. Because I feel like everybody wasn't expecting us to be here, and we just proved them wrong tonight. Well, you got it started. I mean, y'all started off a little slow, but it was your play that kind of kept the team in the game. What from you did you say, hey, I need to step up. I need to, you know, knock down some threes and get, keep my team in this I game. I felt like I wanted to shut their run down and, like, get everybody pumped up because when everyone's going, we're going, and it's no stopping us. Well, I've seen throughout this tournament, I mean, you haven't really been the person that was knocking down threes and getting the offense started more defensive player. But today, you saw it go down. What made – did you see one – once you saw one go down, did you say, hey, I can yeah, knock this I'm down and keep it, it going? Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> when you're going to Lubbock now, how do you think this team will fare going into a national tournament? I think we're ready. You're ready? Man. We're ready. We're gonna we're gonna prove them wrong. I All feel right. like they're not ready for Murray State, and we're ready for them. Hey, have you heard it here? Book it, book <laughs> it right there. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Dion, we got championship coach and a player to talk with us. One of two on the day. We'll have the winning coach and player from the men's game coming up next. But to wrap up the women's game. Murray State just can't be stopped from three. Hey, man, I, it's honestly, and I, and I wish we could give you more analysis. I wish we could say, you know, all the, you know, basketball terminologies that head coach just gave us right here, Steve Lowe. But honestly, from my point of view, they knocked down the three-point shot. They, 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 they took that two-three zone from Enid, and they tore it up. And at the end of the day, they're cutting down the nets, and they're going to Lubbock because of that. All right, we'll be back in a bit with the men's game in about 16 minutes and 35, that's exactly right, seconds uh, from now. So we'll be back in a bit. Thanks for watching on Bravado Wireless. This broadcast is a copyright of Bravado Wireless. This game and broadcast should not be reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed without the expressed written consent of Bravado Wireless and its management.